Hello friends, hope you all are fine. So friends, today I am going to discuss about the adopt don't shop for your next furry friend. If it hasn't happened already, it will probably happen soon. After years or months of living alone, you are ready finally ready to make the leap and get a furry friend to keep you company. Immediately your mind jumps to all of the possible breeds you might want to consider. Maybe a nice pure breed, Siberian Husky or a Pit Bull. While there are so many animals waiting for a forever home to call their own, the best option for adopting is through shelters and humane societies. Here are some of the top reasons you should adopt, not shop, for your forever furry friend. Influx of shelter pets. According to a humane society of Central Texas, approximately 7.6 million companion animals enter animal shelters nationwide every year. Of those, approximately 3.9 million are dogs and 3.4 million are cats. Each year, approximately 2.7 million animals are euthanized, 1.2 million dogs and 1.4 million cats. These numbers alone are heart shattering. But you can be the solution to this horrible problem by remembering to adopt your next pet. It may be tempting to feel like you just won't be happy unless your next pet is a specific breed. In reality, it is the animal's personality that makes it so lovable, not its atheistic or popular appeal. What's the deal with puppy meals? According to Paul's org, 90% of puppies in pet stores come from puppy meals. But what's wrong with puppy meals, you ask? Essentially, puppy meals are high val volume breeding facilities intended to breed as many puppies as possible in order to make a profit. Animals in puppy mills are held in extremely poor conditions, with little to no room to more of move around and socialize. Additionally, more mother dogs at puppy mills live their entire lives in cramped cages, being forcibly assimilated over and over again. This poor condition leaves pet store pups sick and unhappy with loads or underlying conditions. Don't the animals in pet store need homes too? Yes. Pet store animals did not choose their circumstances and are just as de deserving of love and forever home as any shelter pet. However, the only way you can stop to unethical practices that inability come along with the mass breeding and selling of animals in pet store is to stop giving them our money. The more time we spend in pet shelters as opposed to stores, the less incentive puppies mills have to continue their disturbing practices. Specific Breed Adoption Centers If even after hearing the above statistic, you still find your ship desperately dreaming about a certain breed to call your own, don't give up on the adoption process. Some shelters carry specific breeds. Dogstar.com Recommended simply. Given your desired breed a quick Google search. Just type Adoption Center, your desired breed, into your favorite search and see what you find. There are also sites such as Pet Finder that can get you in touch with bread specific rescue centers near you. There are so many loving dogs in shelters that will likely be euthanized without your help. And don't forget the animals in puppy mills that deserve better lives too. So if you are considering adopting a furry friend of your own, do what's best for everyone and adopt don't shop. Related post. Misconception about beta fish care before getting a new pet, whether it's a puppy, cat, bird, fish, etc. You should know everything there is to know about your new pet's need. From how much space? This is why monkeys don't really make good pets. Funny and full of joy monkeys seem to make great pets. However, that is only a first glance opinion because keeping a monkey as a pet is not a good idea. So friends, hope you understand about this topic. I will be again here with you all to discuss with other interesting topics. Thank you.